Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. Okay, now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So this reading may or may not be for you. Now this is the second one I've done. I cannot share the first one. Um, but there is a change in the air. Okay, there's a change in the air. So let's see what comes up. For right around the 21st. What do we have for around the 21st? Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Wands is defense, defensive, on the defense. It looks like we have somebody here that is ready to fight. Ready to fight. in fight mode. That's fight mode, right? In position, ready, ready to fight. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is about, it's like somebody has been given an opportunity, right? They've been given an opportunity. They've been going back and forth. Do they want the opportunity or not? They already had something on their plate. Now they got to decide, what do, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do with this other opportunity? Because now I'm a little overwhelmed with the opportunity that I have been given. So I think that we have an individual that has been going back and forth. They've been dealing with some opposition within themselves and they're still feeling it. They're still feeling it. And I think they're about ready to take the next step. I think the next step is about to be taken. It's interesting. You see, you see there's, there's two balls in the air, okay? I, mean, I put my balls in today. So anyhow, let's keep going. Five of Wands. Wow, we have some competition here. We definitely have competition. With the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands, we have a stiff competition here. Um, we have a stiff competition. We have somebody that is... Uh, about to... Uh, get themselves in a situation that is tense. There's, there's some tension here. It's, a, it's definitely tense. Fighting for something, fighting, 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 fighting for something. Somebody's gonna fight for something. Justice, fighting for justice. This is acting with integrity, doing the right thing. Uh, there's obviously some sort of change with the two of pentacles. That's your change in the air, right? Um, somebody has been, they've got an opportunity. They've been going back and forth. They've been fighting some sort of decision struggling with making a decision. They may have had multiple options. Being honest and upfront, making a decision. So we have somebody here that has definitely made a decision to fight. Somebody has made a decision to fight. Oh my goodness gracious, Knight of Swords, or Page of Swords reversed. This is aggression. It is definitely aggression. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. They are definitely going to, they're going to be caught off guard by a message or this is a change. It's, it's, it's a sudden change. This is definitely being caught off guard. King of Cups reversed. Two of two of wands, two of wands spur the moment decision. Mm. 
the decision, somebody is, has made their decision. They've made their decision. They're stepping into unknown territory. They're ready to fight. They're going to fight. They're get ready for a fight. They're going to be some sort of fight. I'm just being honest. They're, they're ready to fight. There's, a, there's sadness here with the King of Cups reverse. There's sadness. There's uh, detachment, withdrawal, emotional withdrawal, emotions all over the place. There even could be some anger here. Definitely very intense, extremely intense. Intense emotions. There's some sort of conflict here. Somebody is feeling very conflicted. Their emotions are all scattered emotions, emotions all over the place. Somebody may need to defend themselves. I just got to be honest. The Seven of Wands is defend, defend. Somebody may be defending their territory. It's kind of like a cat, a male cat that pisses all over their territory. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> defending my territory, defending my position. Somebody is like defending. It's this is defense mode. They've been struggling going back and forth with this gift that they were given. And maybe there's been some sort of competition, you know, that has caused them the indecisiveness that they were going through. But now it's like, oh boy, the decision is being made. And it's, and it's about the sudden desire for change. The sudden, it is, it's a change. It's a sudden desire for change. It's a sudden desire for recognition to get what I deserve. I got to get what I deserve. Hmm. Three of Swords reverse. Now that is leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. I feel like we have a storm that is, is passing. It will pass. This is going to pass. Somebody's been hurting, right? They've been hurting. They've been suffering. They've been in some sort of pain. Heartache. Heartbroken. King of Cups reverse right next to the Three of Swords reverse. That's heartbreak. It's it's heartbreaking. Somebody's heartbroken. They've been heartbroken. I feel like maybe there's going to be a, there could be a reconciliation here with the Three of Swords reversed. It's almost like I can't fight this feeling. I can't fight this feeling. I cannot fight this feeling. I got to do this. I got to be honest. I got to I got to do the right thing. So somebody is going to be uh they're making a decision that it has to do with their heart. It has to do with their feelings. They've been heartbroken. It's this is uh, seriously Now they're deciding to step forward with the two of wands, that's stepping forward. It really is. This person has this sudden desire. It's got the ace of wands, a sudden, it is. It's like, this is a sudden desire, right? It is. I feel like we have somebody here that is, um, they haven't been able to communicate They've been having a hard time communicating with the Page of Swords reversed. Or maybe there's been miscommunication. They detached themselves emotionally. You know, they withdrew themselves emotionally because they were feeling so much inner conflict about the change, about the offer, about the, you know, opportunity that was presented to them. There was so much... Uh, opposition with it. It was like, I wasn't expecting this. I already had what I needed. I already had what I needed. And now, and now you give me this. So I feel like, I feel like now the decision is being made between the two options. There's been a lot of heartbreak. There's pain. There's been mental confusion, but I feel like there's some sort of clarity, honestly.
hermit. Yeah, somebody's been thinking. They've been thinking. And I feel like they've come to some sort of conclusion with the Justice card, a conclusion. It's like I, somebody may have went into hermit mode, taken a time out to reflect on this offer that what has been presented. Somebody has taken time to think about the opportunity. Because I feel like they realize because that's a realization. They become consciously aware that they can't have both. They have to make a choice. And that's where all the conflict came from. But anyway, I feel like it's, it's like, you know, the storm is passing. It's time to leave it all behind and step forward. We may also have somebody here that is choosing to withdraw. Okay? They may be choosing to withdraw from a tense situation that has had them on their toes, you know, where they've been walking on eggshells, you know, where they've been having to fight and defend themselves constantly, you know, because the hermit is, is about reflecting. It's about thinking about your life and realizing your goals and re-identifying yourself. So I wonder, I mean, somebody could be going through a period of strife right now where they decide to take a time out to go within and withdraw from the world to focus on a better future. Well, that's what this is. But anyhow, I do believe that we have somebody here that has gone through some sort of awakening. It's like they, they I feel like they did. I feel like they went through some sort of spiritual awakening. And now they see very clearly with the justice card. They see very clearly that it's time to leave these past hurts, the past heartbreak behind. It's time to leave it all in the past, especially with the Two of Wands and the Three of Swords reversed. Okay, that's us leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. And I feel like they're going to communicate with the opportunity that was presented that they were pushing away. They were pushing it away. They were pushing that golden opportunity away because of all their inner conflict, all the, you know... Uh, inner opposition that they were facing. Anyhow, I do believe that there is, there, you know, what could this be? This could be that there is an, a, a fight, okay? The, the first card out is a fight. It's opposition. It's fighting for the position. There could be a fight that starts this whole ride per se you know it's like what I put it's like a roller coaster it's like somebody could get in a fight with an individual that causes them to make the choice that they are about to make okay Somebody's definitely been in a tough position because it's a difficult decision. So they haven't been communicating. But now they've become enlightened. I mean, that hermit is, is co becoming consciously aware of what is needed to be done. So somebody has become consciously aware and they have made a decision. The decision is made. That's the way I see it. Something about forgiveness. So I'm wondering if something about forgiveness here is hoping for forgiveness, asking for forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may be coming clean, telling the truth, you know, about their feelings. We definitely have a very, somebody has grown wise, they've, they've grown some, they've gotten wiser, you know, they've, they've become wise, wisened up maybe, because they've been suffering so much, and it is the, it's pain that teaches us, it really is.
somebody is realizing their true identity after experiencing some sort of heartbreak. Tower. Ooh. So this is a major disruption. It's a major life change. This is uh, the light. It's right next to the hermit. So light definitely being shed. Seeing the light. Seeing the light. Somebody is going to be seeing the light. They've seen the light. It's like they've woken up. This is definitely a rude awakening. It is a wake-up call. This is a major life change. And I feel like and I feel like there's been some sort of internal disruption or there's going to be. There could be a shakeup, there could be a fight. This could be a fight. There's and there's an event here. This is a major life-changing event. Right? Seeing the light, leaving the pain behind, building a new foundation, being forced. This is forced, forced. It's force, the universe, that's the tower's universe. It's force, it's force change, force to see, force to see. It's like the universe has forced somebody to see through heartache and, and pain, explosion, explosion, explosion of truth. This is definitely some sort of explosion. Maybe it's an explosion of feelings. Can't fight this feeling. Can't fight this feeling. It's the truth. Justice is truth. Major sh surprise. Surprise. Surprise, that's what the truth is. I mean, the truth, well, this is the truth. People don't, I yeah, guess, yeah, that's a, that's a surprise too. Anyhow, but the tower is a surprise. This is a shock. Somebody's about to be shocked. Somebody has realized their true identity and they are ready. They're ready, they're ready, they're ready. They're ready to step forward. They're ready to step into the light. They are caught off guard by a message from an individual that pushed you away or has caused some conflict in your life. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. It could be anybody. Goodness gracious, the lovers. This is about love. This is about feelings. Deep, deep, deep feelings. This is a soulmate connection. It's undeniable. The, it, there's so much internal disruption over this fall, over this, over this, uh, separation because of that tower I feel like there's so much internal disruption over holding on to the false sense of security that it's so heartbreaking but th that there's no there's no choice but to react there I feel like there's some sort of reconciliation here between soulmates and it could be past life okay it could be I gotta say that I just got to look at me Lovers. Lovers is a choice in love. It's a healing love. It's it's a beautiful connection. It's 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 two people that are being brought together, okay, by you know, an angel. So we definitely have two people that are being brought together from above. This is universally driven. Okay, so the tower is right above it. That's the universe. The universe has is bringing these two people together because they're meant to be together. So there's a, so there's a false sense of security, which is the tower that is crumbling or has crumbled for a reason. But I think if somebody has been fighting, they have been fighting change because the seven of wands is right next to the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles change. Everybody knows it. That's a realignment. It's a geometric power higher than yourself that is trying to realign somebody to their um, 
best, okay, to their balanced life. They're trying to realign somebody to their security, their stability. Anyhow, there is a realignment here. But we have somebody here that has been going back and forth, fighting change, fighting their re own reality because of a false sense of security that they were trying to build up with another individual that probably doesn't even love them. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, we've got the King of Cups in reverse. Now it's like seeing the truth very, very clearly that it's time to build a new foundation. This is seeing the light. This is definitely a light bulb moment. This is, this is definitely seeing the light. It's like leaving the past hurts behind, stepping into unknown territory. Somebody's going to receive a message that they do not expect to get. Okay, this is a... Uh, expect to receive a message that you do not expect to get. This is from somebody that is probably in your soul. It's probably a soulmate of some sort. But somebody has been connected to a false co contract. Tower, lovers, a false contract. But this is like a light bulb moment. Boom. Boom. This is what you asked for. This is it. Is this really what I asked for? Yes, this is what you asked for. Wake up. Can't you see the light? Anyhow. Ooh. This could lead to marriage. Definitely a soulmate situation. Happiness, marriage, proposal, engagement, commitment. Getting together, attending a get together, getting together. Somebody is going to be deepening a connection with an individual that they are connected to, I feel, on a soul level. You think about the hermit, that's soul searching. Right next to the lovers. I mean, there. this is a soul, I feel like it's a soulmate contract. But I think somebody has been fighting it. They've been fighting it, right? But this is a change in the air. This is, this is a getting together. I don't know if it's reuniting. This could definitely be somebody from the past. It could be somebody from a past life. But we do have a false sense of security that is crumbling, that is bringing these two people together. I mean, it is. And it's a complete shock. It is a shock. It's a surprise. Expect the unexpected. Good luck.